Hi everybody, welcome back to another CYT Crypto episode. My name is Stephen Aitchison and today we're going to be looking at a project that's going to explode when it comes out on the 2nd of December. It's another one, you probably guessed it, it's another gaming project that I think is going to be absolutely massive. First we want to look at why I think this is going to be massive. We have to look at the gaming industry as a whole just now. We know gaming has just gone parabolic over the last kind of couple of months and it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Gaming itself lends itself extremely well to the blockchain. I spoke about that in other videos, check out my past videos as well, uh, and why gaming shouldn't be um, kind of evaluated the same way as normal crypto projects, because you have to look at the number of users, you have to look at the number of user wallets they're going to be playing, how much they're spending, etc. And that's not included in these statistics on the likes of CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko, etc. And um, so we have to look in a different way. But for now, we're looking at the gaming industry with a market capitalization kind of mindset. Uh, as I said, we shouldn't be doing that, but we're looking at it just now. So let's look at the overall gaming market. Just now, we have a gaming market capitalization of $35 billion. That's for all the gaming tokens listed on CoinGecko just now. There's going to be more than that. It's probably about $50 billion with the ones that have not been listed yet. Probably more than that. But this is a trillion dollar industry waiting to happen. So if it was 50 billion, you're talking about um, like a 20x from here. Uh, so this gaming industry is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger over the next couple of years. It's going to be absolutely massive. We've seen Axie Infinity. That's literally an 8.9 billion market cap just now. Uh, and we're talking that's literally about 20% of the full market capitalization. So if you take out the top five and look at the other ones, you're talking about a market capitalization of maybe 10, 10, 15 billion. So this gaming industry is just going to get bigger, better, stronger, uh, and it's just going to be much, it's just going to be like playing a AAA game just now, like Call of Duty or something like that. Uh, I spoke about another one in another video called Meta Wars. That just did 100x after a couple of weeks. So this is what I expect from this new project I'm going to be talking about, and it's called Operant Origins. So this is Operant Origins. This is an NFT card battle game. And that I think is going to explode when it comes out. And the overview of that is just it's an NFT card based combat game with an epic art style that pushes the boundaries of competitive NFT games. So you're going to have NFTs coming out here. You're going to have 5,000 NFTs that are going to be released initially. And you're going to be able to buy these and kind of battle with them as well. On It's going to be a game included in on lots of different levels. So there's going to be about 250 levels um, to this as well. This is the reason I love um, this project as well and why I think it could really explode and um, because it's on different levels it's not just a game where you're just winning NFTs and it's going up in value and you can stake it there's a lot more to this um, for this project so one of the reasons I love this game as well is because of the story behind it when we see a lot of games in the GameFi market just now there's no story behind it there's nothing there's no levels and nothing like that Axie Infinity has not got really a story behind it obviously it's huge it's big it's nine billion dollars um, and it's expanding all the time as well but this has actually got it's an old kind of style NFT well card game style where it's got a story behind it so the story is 10,000 years in the future through human DNA has evolved and created superhumans called operants and these operate are divided into four different affinities called earth fire ice and magic and the affinities are the driving forces of operants so within the story as well we have prince zeon we have sheena and then as well we also have cartress jack and the wrath saber as well and the gameplay is collectible card game whereby players can collect the nfts and utilize these to battle with other players in a lively metaverse um, that's kind of what it's about. We've not got any kind of um, gameplay videos as yet, but that will be coming out. And as I said, the ecosystem is going to be the NFT NFT distribution is going to be 5,000 of these. 1%, which is 50, are going to be legendary. 10%, which is 500, is going to be epic. Um, 29%, which is 1,450, uh, is going to be rare. And 60%, which is 3,000, which are going to be common ones. They're also going to develop an NFT marketplace um, whereby players can trade their NFTs. So the stronger the NFTs you have, obviously, the, the more battles you're going to win and the more money you're going to win as well. And there's going to be two tokens for this, the Auto Token and the Zoro Token. The Auto Token is going to be the native utility token. And you're going to be able to use the Auto Tokens 
to buy um, some of the 5,000 NFTs that are going to be coming out. But once the 5,000 NFTs have been minted, that's going to turn into Zoro tokens. And the Oro tokens are going to be used as a means of payment for the NFT marketplace. Now, the Zoro tokens are going to be used to buy the NFTs as well. So you can buy and sell the NFTs um, with your Zoro tokens as well. And there's going to be utility to it with staking, payment and trading. So this is a kind of simple concept based on the kind of old kind of card style games and like Yu-Gi-Oh! and things like that as well. But it's, it's going to be much more complex in that there's going to be 250 different levels to this. There's a story to this um, as well. And I think it's going to be one of those addictive games that's really going to catch on very, very quickly. Some of the backers they have in this is absolutely crazy. If you look at some of the backers they've got, their investors, Bluezilla, big one to start with. Wealth Union, Synapse, they've got AU21 Capital, uh, Odiana, OIG, Moon Whale, Dutch Crypto Investors, um, Vespertine Capital, BBS, BCA Investments, Everest Capital, Gem Capital, R930 Capital, Ferrum Network as well. Um, and they've got as partners Huego Studios, which is a kind of high class AAA studio. Um, they've got Fedira in there as well, Cryptopolis, House of Chimera, Gamers, and Polygod as well. They've done some. Uh, interesting stuff for Polygon. But if we look at their medium, if you just scroll down the medium, go over to the medium and look at the strategic investors. They've got Ferrum Network, uh, mentioned all of these as well. These are strategic investments. All of these big players are investing a lot of money into Operant Origins. Now that in and of itself doesn't tell you everything, but if you look at the gaming structure, the gaming story, the people behind it uh, as well, that does tell you a lot. So they're very active on the medium as well. Now, if we look at the Twitter, they've already got 49.3 thousand followers on there already. And you can see in the Telegram group, they've got 47,449. I don't want to show you um, in the Telegram group um, cases, names in there, but there's 47,000 in the Telegram group as well. So the socials are good. The backers are good. Everything looks good on this. Let's take a look quickly at the numbers for this as well. So token like seed round got um, 7.5%, partners and advisors got 5%, 16% for the private round, 4% is going to be going for the public round, 2% is for the call influencers, of which I got a stake in this as well. And I wanted to, uh, to get a bigger stake for my community, um, for our community, CYT Blockchain Ventures, but it was just too late to get in. Otherwise, we were going to try and get a $250,000 allocation for this, for the group but we were just too late to get in there. So they did offer me the call stake um, and I said, yeah, I'll take it definitely because I love the look of it. So I just want to be full transparent on that as well. 10% liquidity, 23.5% reward marketing ecosystem and company reserve of 17% um, as well. So initially when it comes out, it's going to be 10 cents and there's only going to be 1.32 million tokens available initially, which is going to give it a market capitalization of $132,000 which is nothing at all. Now, where could this go? Where could this go? Could this 100x? If we think about it, if we look at other kind of projects that have just come out um, that are similar, we could see this going 100x. So 100x would be, actually be $10 um, for this as well. Remember, circulating supply is only going to be 1.32 million. But if we include the company reserve, the reward marketing ecosystem, and we don't include the liquidity, obviously that number is going to be higher. But this could go very, very quickly, um, 10x, 20, 30, 40, 50x, um, very quickly. Um, I can see it doing that straight out of the bat. And this is a token unlock distribution as well. So it's going to be over a period of 22 months. And the roadmap for this, uh, working prototype, private rounds, public sale and stake in quarter four, which is this quarter. They've got the alpha beta stage coming out in quarter one, 2022. NFT Marketplace and V1 launch and um, for new characters introduction quarter two and quarter three is going to be the boss event introduction um, and this is the team here and I've been speaking to um, some of the team as well on Telegram and these are the kind of socials for as well. As I said this could absolutely explode and I expect it to explode as soon as it comes out of the gates so it's going to launch on the game zone launch pad and we're coming out then and it's also going to be launched and the BSC pad as well. So that'll be coming out. And as I said, it's going to be 10 cents when it comes out to the public. But expect this to go past two, three, four dollars immediately to start with. That's a 40x. Probably come back down after that. Then that would be a good time to get in 
on this for the longer term. And if you're a gamer, this is this is a no-brainer um, to make a lot of money from your gaming as well. So check it out. That's Operant Origins. I'll put links down below this in the description and to the socials as well. Okay, until next video. Namaste. Take care. Bye now.